Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time. God is great. Let's not waste no time. We're going to get right into it. So saw a post on the Internet that was titled how to cope with suicidal thoughts. And what you want to do is prioritize safety. Call a crisis line. Find an anchor for this painful period. Don't try to figure your whole future. Don't try to figure out your whole future. Reach out to a loved one. If you don't have a loved one to reach out to, um, visualize your idol, role model, someone who inspires you. What would you say to uplift, empower, or motivate you in this moment? Recognize that you don't want to end your life. So... The first one was prioritizing safety. Remove any dangerous objects and find a safe place. Most often this may be your bed. It is for me. That place is my, my bed. Um, for for um, you all, um, it may be something else. Um, it may be um, it may be uh, another safe place of your or choose I'm just speaking for myself personally. Um, my bed is my safe spot. Um, I've told y'all before that um, I've actually had to sign a contract saying that I wouldn't in my life I suicide. I've had to sign one of those. Okay. And so um, one of the things that they asked me when I signed it was... Um, do you have any dangerous objects around you? And the answer to that will be yes. Um, not going to name those dangerous objects that I have around me and still have around me at this time, but, um, dealing with, um, thoughts of suicide, um, I've had, I have had ideations, um, but, um, it doesn't get to what I call the extreme point. If it ever got to the extreme point, um, I would probably, um, call a friend or do this, call a crisis line instead. And I talk about um you can call it the Memphis crisis center or you can if you're not comfortable talking you can always text um 741 um they're another helpful great re resource just in, um so you have the option um just in case you don't want to talk but you can do the same with 988 you can either talk or text. Um, same with um, the crisis text line, 741-741. Um, calling a crisis line, this is especially important if you're considering attempting. They will help you get unstuck from painful, intrusive thoughts and work to keep you safe. As a person who um, volunteers on a 988 crisis line, um, Yes, that is very, very true. Some people who um, are on the verge, um, you can hear it in their voice. You can just hear it in their voice. They're just, um, they're just, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say desperate. Um, I would just say they're looking for some relief from 
thinking these suicidal intrusive thoughts. And um, again, um, as a person who volunteers on the 988 line, who works on the 988 line, volunteers, um, you can often hear it in their voice that they really don't want to die. They really don't want to die. They just want relief. They just want hunger relief. Find an anchor for this painful period. That is, find something that keeps you grounded and makes you feel safe, motivates you to live. This may be listening to your favorite band, holding a stuffed toy, being next to a loved one, envisioning a future goal, event, milestone that you want to hold on for, or repeating a compliment someone once gave to you. Um, finding a anchor. Um, for me, this would consist of reading the Bible, um, meditation. I can find an anchor in that. Reading the Bible, meditation, getting out in nature. Um, so those are just a few of the things that is an anchor for me. I'm pretty sure you all who are watching, you have your anchors for when suicidal thoughts oh, oh, arise, you have your, your anchors. So um, that's really, really Im important that um, when those thoughts come up, you can often default to those things right there um, to um, push aside those suicidal ideations, suicidal thoughts. Don't try to figure your whole future you don't have to solve everything at once in fact if you try to do this it'll often lead you to feel more overwhelmed and discouraged how many times have i done that how many times have you all done that the audience um yeah um yeah um oftentimes when something happens when something major comes up um Oftentimes, I try to figure out the whole thing. I try to think about two weeks down the road instead of just thinking um, about the now. Instead of just thinking about the now. Thinking about um, the now. How am I going to get through this moment? Instead of thinking about how are you going to get through the next two weeks? And... Believe me, I've done that before. It causes anxiety. It causes depression. Like I said, it's going to feel you because it's going to lead you to feel more overwhelmed and more discouraged. And eventually, um, just start thinking about suicide to deal with that, to deal with those um, overwhelmed, discouraging feeling. Reach out to a loved one. This will help you feel less alone more comforted and help you feel less stuck in your head. Um, I have people who um, regularly check, check on me every day, who check on me every single day, every single day. Um, do you all have people who check on you um, every single day? If you do, that's good. That's that's real good. Um, we all need someone to. Um, we all need someone we can reach out to. Um, let me just say hey, this. Um, I've talked about the fact that I'm not the best at reaching out. As far as when I have intrusive thoughts and running in my head, I'm not the best at reaching out. But um, but um, people have been reaching out to me first before I reach out to them. So that's pretty awesome to have someone who is thinking about you, um, who is consistently thinking about how are you doing, how are you you doing, so. 
makes you feel good, makes you feel not alone, makes you feel, um, makes you feel like you don't have to face it alone. If you don't have a loved one to reach out to, um, visualize your idol, role model, someone who inspires you, what would they say to uplift, empower you, or motivate you in this moment? Okay. So being one of the biggest cowboy fans, um, Michael Irvin said this at the end of his Hall of Fame speech. Michael Irvin said to anyone who has felt like that they don't measure up or ever wanted to quit, you tell them, look up, get up, and don't ever give up. Thank you. And God bless. And that's how Michael Irvin ended his Hall of Fame speech. Okay. So um, visualize your idol, role model, someone who inspires you. What would they say to uplift, empower, or motivate you in this moment? Recognize that you don't want to end your life. You want a part. You want to end a part of your life and experience you're having in it. A moment of it. A problem you're facing or a negative situation. Um, for people, it can be financial struggles. It can be job struggles. It can be um, physical struggles. It can be any struggle. Um, it can be bullying struggles. Um, yeah. Um, I know so often people think that those are intrusive thoughts um, so often when things aren't happening for them um, the best way for them to deal with it is by ending their, their, their life okay that's the way I thought when I was younger when I'm having financial issues, when I'm having mental issues, when I'm having physical issues, um, no, I used to only think one way to handle that, and that was suicide. Okay, then I started. Then as I got a little older, working on a, um, volunteering on the 988 line, you know, you just want this part to get better. You just want this to stop. You just want this to stop. And if all these things just stopped, then of course you'd be in a better place. Not only you'd be in a better place mentally. Of course. So, um, yeah, recognize that you don't want to end your life. You just want to end that financial struggle you're going through. You want to end the physical struggle you're going through, the job struggle you're going through. You want to end the um, bullying problem that you're going through. And to everyone out there, you're so strong and brave for fighting suicidal thoughts, okay? And um, it's not easy to fight. You got to fight these every day because they can pop up randomly. They can easily pop up randomly. So um, it's not easy. But um, it's not easy. It's hard. But I'm telling you, it is worth it because I matter to someone. I matter to a lot of people people out there who are watching you matter to a lot of people so it's not easy it's hard but believe me it is worth it it's worth it all right that's it for the Girl podcast see you all in the next